Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president aimed to get a tax compromise that will protect the middle class and spur private sector job growth, and hosted a day-long meeting with the CEOs of our nation's leading businesses. That's December 10th to the 16th, or all these pens. There you go. Thank you. On Monday, December 13th, the President and First Lady visited Harriet Tubman Elementary School, where the President signed the Healthy Hunger-Free Kids Act, a major step forward in our nation's effort to provide all children with healthy food in schools. I got to sign it with all these pens, so. Because of this legislation, we will increase access to healthy, quality meals in schools and strengthen nutrition programs that serve young children. We can all agree that in the wealthiest nation on earth, all children should have the basic nutrition they need to learn and grow and to pursue their dreams. Because in the end, nothing is more important than the health and well-being of our children, nothing. Uh, and our hopes for their future should drive every single decision that we make. Later, President Obama and the 2010 NBA champions, the Los Angeles Lakers, visited the Town Hall Education Arts Recreation Campus, where they boxed care packages for wounded warriors with local youth from the Boys and Girls Club. The Lakers opted to focus their visit to D.C. on community service. Well, listen, the, uh, these guys are doing outstanding uh, work giving back to communities, and, uh, but, but it's young people like you uh, who get in these good habits of looking after other people, thinking about uh, you know, the community that really makes all the difference. So we're very proud of you. Thank you. Monday evening, the president spoke about the middle class tax cut compromise making its way through the Senate. I recognize that folks on both sides of the political spectrum are unhappy with certain parts of the package, and I understand those concerns. Uh, I share some of them, but that's the nature of compromise, sacrificing something that each of us cares about to move forward on what matters to all of us. Right now, that's growing the economy and creating jobs. On Tuesday, December 14th, by the light of the first fire lit in the Oval Office this season, President Obama signed an executive order creating the White House Council for Community Solutions. The council will provide advice to the president on the best ways to mobilize citizens, nonprofits, businesses, and government to work more effectively together to solve specific community needs. We've got a lot of creativity, a lot of people with hands-on experience, and so I've, I've got big expectations. Later, the president went to the Situation Room for a monthly meeting on Afghanistan and Pakistan with his national security team, both in D.C. and in the field. This was the first such meeting held since the death of Ambassador Richard Holbrook, the president's special envoy to the region. On Wednesday, December 15th, President Obama went to the EEOB to make a statement about passing his tax cut compromise that ensures tax relief for the middle class and will help spur the economy. I am absolutely convinced that this tax cut plan, while not perfect, will help grow our economy and create jobs in the private sector. It will help lift up middle class families who will no longer need to worry about a New Year's Day tax hike. It's a little chilly out here. The president then crossed Pennsylvania Avenue to the Blair House, where he held a day-long session with CEOs from across the country. I am looking forward to getting good ideas from them, uh, but I definitely am going to uh, talk to them about how we can get more hiring out there. That evening, the president signed a series of bills into law, including the CALM Act, the SGR bill, and the Dorothy Height bill, named for famed civil rights activist Dr. Dorothy Height. She was just such a blessing to everybody. That's uh, right. That's right. Obviously, the, the last time I saw some of you was at her funeral. That's right. Uh, which was a true celebration. Mm -hmm. and, and the spirit in that... Uh, and that remembrance uh, was reflective of who she was. On Thursday, December 16th, President Obama went down the street to the Department of Interior, where he attended the Tribal Nations Conference, affirming his administration's commitment to government-to-government -to -government relationships between the federal government and these tribal nations. The president then went to the Brady Briefing Room with Secretary Clinton, Secretary Gates, and General Cartwright to discuss the conclusions of the Afghan-Pakistan Annual Review, working toward the planned drawdown of troops next year. We are moving toward a new phase in Afghanistan, a transition to full Afghan lead for security that will begin early next year and will conclude in 2014, even as NATO maintains a long-term commitment to training and advising Afghan forces. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. My husband worked very hard to make sure 
uh, that this bill was a priority in this session, and I am grateful to you. Because I would have been sleeping on the couch. Um, <laughs> but I, I am thrilled to be here. We, we won't go into that. <laughs> just, just say, got done. So you don't have to go down that road. But I am thrilled.